All right, everybody, there is a new coding LLM on the block called Sonic, which many people believe to be Grok code. Now, it is super fast, and I haven't used it yet. I actually wanted to do a real quick test to show how fast it is compared to something like GPT-5 doing the same exact tasks. So the first task I'm going to have it do is take this Figma design right here using the Figma MCP server and see how fast it could translate this into working HTML and CSS. So right here, you can see I have Sonic specified 256k context window and it's also free right now so i'm going to go ahead and paste this prompt translate the selected layout in figma via the figma mcp server to working html and css then we're also going to show at the same time right here gpt5 the same exact scenario let's run them both at the same time and see how slow or fast they are compared to each other now these are all running in real time. This is not sped up. Now, spoiler alert, Sonic is indeed much faster. In fact, it ends up finishing at the 34 second mark. But speed is only one factor. We're gonna take a look at the quality they produce as well. So let's go ahead and time lapse this now. Okay, so here is the result. One issue with this, for some reason, it's not expanding all the way, even though I did set up that text layer correctly. But for the most part, it looks like it did a really good, accurate job of this custom design that I built, or designed rather, in Figma. All right, so let's take a look at the results from GPT-5 now that it finally finished it. Um, looking at this, okay, it screwed up this idea tag. This should not be all the way across. Um, these shouldn't be in a row with two columns. Um, this should actually be underneath. So overall, I think not only is Sonic faster or Grok code, whatever you want to call it, I think it did a better job. I mean, it only screwed up one element and this should just be spanning all the way across. So it was way faster and it also did a better job translating the design. Integrate the Greenstock animation platform to create a stagger animation on the type at the top. I like playing live action role playing games on each character. Make it animate from a clipping mask and each letter should animate on the Y axis, negative 100 pixels into the default zero pixel position. All right, so let's take a look at each of these. This is going to be Sonic, all right? And see, we're just gonna see how fast this one is. It looks like it kind of screwed it up like that. It's kind of clipping off the text or the top of it, but it is pretty much doing what we wanted. Um, let's check out GPT-5. Ooh, okay. So that one doesn't have the clipping issue, but it didn't maintain the spacing between each of the characters. So I'm gonna say in terms of results, this is a tie, but ultimately Sonic wins, or Grok Code, whatever you wanna call it, because it got done way faster. All right, so here's the third prompt. Create a scroll activated animation with Greensock animation platform where each piece of type that is scrolled into view at the bottom of the viewport is animated into position from an opacity of zero and a Y position of 200 pixels. Make the animation subtle and smooth based on scroll position. So we're gonna send this to our Sonic first and then we're gonna send it to, at the same time, GPT-5. All right, it is done. Let's check out Grok's version here to see how this one performed. I'm gonna scroll down. Okay, that actually worked. Pretty good, I'm actually pretty happy with uh, the Sonic version. Now let's go ahead and check out GPT-5. Oh, not as good. Definitely not as good. Um, it did what I wanted it to do pretty much, but I think the execution was better, much more subtle, like I requested from Sonic as opposed to GPT-5. So my take on this is just after three prompts, I really like Sonic better than GPT-5 at least. Now I know that's not a lot of prompts, not a lot of testing, but I mean, you saw the results yourself. These are actually pretty impressive because the amount of time that you can save, because Anybody who's been coding uh, with these LLMs, these vibe coding LLMs for a while understands that, 
you know, you have to keep prompting them. It doesn't get exactly what you want 100% of the time. So much of your time is spent just, you know, twiddling your thumbs, like what the hell, you know, because you're waiting for these things to respond. GPT-5 is really slow in comparison and it didn't even do a better job in the output, at least based on those three prompts. So let me know what you all think. If you're going to be switching to this new Stealth Sonic, which we believe is Grok Code, um, we're going to be covering a lot more of this stuff going forward. Make sure to subscribe up here. Check out designcourse.com and I'll see you all very, very soon. Goodbye.